am lovely angel lady. Hey ladies and gents, would you like to see how I got this look? Well, stay tuned for the video. Hey, hey y'all. So I am showing you her packaging. So she is a free tress full cap wig, complete style. I was supposed to be in one minute. Um, she's the drawstring type, so you can put her in a pony or um, you can wear her supposedly as a full cap wig, but I'm going to rock her as a half wig today. So I took her out of her packaging and this is what she looks like. She has a little paper in the netting and all that. Gotta cut the little tag off and stuff getting her all ready to go she has a comb in the front and a large comb in the back a drawstring as well to keep her nice and snug and this is the netting beautiful look at those colors y'all i have her in a tp430 so i'm about to get the styling and um, i'm using my little dingy toothbrush um being that um you know i have colored my hair and stuff it changes colors anyway so um it's been a while as you can see my new growth and stuff um, but I do have natural hair I am just going ahead and applying my eco styler gel to hold the hair down in the style that I am attempting to achieve and I'm trying to get those edges I will be going over them I always go over my edges again I like to go over them using cream of nature's argon oil um, from Morocco perfect edges it's like edge control and it's really really good especially after I've already gelled my hair down it just gives it that finishing touch and a really slick look I really love that to lay those hairs down especially with having natural hair um, they can be kind of difficult but that's why I wanted to use this full cap wig because it's wavy and I knew that I could blend the front of my hair you know not in with the actual hair but um, you'll see what I'm doing I am just tucking that under the wig cap, tucking my hair underneath, and then I'm going to uh, unbraid the other side and do the same thing, just kind of going over those edges. So now I gotta take that plait down and just gelling that hair down as well. I'm going to do the same thing to this side and you'll just have your little side part. But as you can see, um, even with natural hair with gel, my hair is kind of thick and full but you know once i gel it down it can actually not so look relaxed but it'll look like you know slicker and um, i can get it to lay down better so i use that brush and it's really good um for helping my hair lay down but i'm tucking this hair also under the wig cap i'm not going to put any like bobby pins or anything like that because i don't want it sticking up you know through the wig or anything like that and plus this is more comfy for me there's no need to do that. But now I am using my Argon Oil Perfect Edges. And this stuff works great. When I tell you it's amazing for my hair, oh my goodness, it's amazing. I really love it. And I'm just going back over. Gotta get perfection, honey. Yes. Time to put on this wig, y'all. Slipping the large comb from the front right on in and now I'm going to make sure that I bring the wig up and over the cap and I'm going to put the back comb in okay y'all so I'm making sure that that back comb is all the way in and that I have the drawstrings tightened and tucked under so they're not hanging out and then just kind of fluffing my fingers through the hair to kind of give her a little life and I've got my blue bandana. I'm so excited. I love this beautiful blue. And I've got on my eyes and everything, y'all. Accessories. You can pick your color of choice. I love these things. And so I've got it kind of folded up. Um, you know, kind of, you know, not tiny, but, you know, small. Because you want to be able to see some of your hair in the front, but cover um, the actual front of the wig so I kind of have it to the side where I'll tie it and you'll see the two little pieces and it just looks like a kind of mini bow kind of a look 
um but i'm loving it what do y'all think this hair is so pretty y'all i love the wave pattern and um i'm kind of gelling down the edges and i have on makeup so if you have a have your makeup done have your face done before time just make sure that you uh, you know use your finger to blend in you know the gel so that your makeup is not looking all ashy around the edges it's kind of best if you could actually do your makeup after the fact but yeah I had to get ready to go so I went on and did mine ahead of time but what do y'all think I really 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 like it I think this is a cute little teeny bopper look uh-huh honey yes if y'all do try it make sure that you post some pictures send me some pictures to um, my fan page on Facebook or Instagram um, you can share them yes I do allow you to share them on my page okay but look at her length she is past shoulder length but still pretty short very good for the spring and summer y'all very lightweight i am loving this unit here this beauty is in the back you can see her colors very well just shaking her down so y'all can see she does come across a little shiny on camera not too bad if you want to put a little baby powder on her make sure you rub it in that would be great but not necessary and she is affordable all right y'all thank you so much for watching i really really had fun today i hope i gave you a little half wig style idea i love to use bandanas for numerous things they're good for tying your hair up and so forth and so forth but i sleep in a satin um, cap at night to protect my natural hair but if you do have natural hair um this is a good way to um just you know slick your hair down in the front and put on a little headband and you don't have to worry about blending and that's what i like about this wavy look too it's not super straight and so uh, look it just is so cute and i even wore my little i'm wearing a lot of blue today blue is my favorite color y'all um and i love purple and pink as well but blue is my ultimate favorite although i do wear a lot of black but cute earrings hubba hubba <laughs> But thank you so much for watching. If you are not subscribed, you know what to do. Do press that subscribe button. I really thank you so much for following you guys. Also, please be following me on social media. Um, I do have like some contests and um, giveaways coming up um, that I've been planning for a while. I've been super busy. So y'all help me get to this stuff so we can have some fun. I really appreciate you watching and your girl LAL has got to go.